Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples, probability examples on coins and dice. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what probability means and what's the terminology required to understand this class. About event, sample space and all those definitions were clearly discussed in our previous class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So this is our first class on our probability examples. We'll go a little bit slow uh, in understanding how to find the probability values for the given events. Let's take this experiment. We are doing a random experiment. Uh, toss two unbiased coins. We discussed about what unbiased coins means. Uh, when we toss two unbiased coins, uh, so they are asking the question, find the probability of getting exactly one head. Exactly one head. That is what the question is. Uh, so what's the chances of getting exactly one head when we toss two coins? That is the question you have to understand. If you, so if we want to find the probability value, first we need to identify the sample space. What we discussed about sample space, uh, list of all the possibilities in the random experiment. Uh, means what are the, all the possible outcomes of the random experiment? We call it as sample space. When we toss two coins, uh, so what are all the possible, uh, possible outcomes? Head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail these are all the possible outcomes that we are going to encounter when we do the random experiment tossing two coins two unbiased coins this we call it as sample space n of s means number of elements in sample space how many elements are there total four elements are there that's why n of s means number of elements in the sample space which is four now coming to what's the event e is equal to event e is equal to what's our question says find the probability of getting exactly one head so getting exactly one head out of this sample space so how many ways it is going to occur our event that is what you have to identify head tail in this in this occurrence we are having only single head one head exactly one head tail head in this occurrence we are having a one head exactly one head these are the two events we needed so what is the chances of obtaining these two events that is what probability means what is the chance of occurring these events these two events that is what probability means so we will find that uh, number of elements e event means head tail tail head these are the two events we needed so n of e means number of elements in the event which is we are having two elements in our event so n of e is equal to 2 probability of the event is given as number of elements in the event divided by number of elements in the sample space that is 2 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5 means 50 percent chance is there to obtain exactly one head when we toss two coins that is what the probability means 50 percent chance is there in order to obtain the outcome head exactly one head okay other way to understand simply to understand four events out of these four events how many events are required for us two events two out of four events means 50 percent chance is there so this is how we find the probability value now coming to the next example find the probability of getting at least one head for the same experiment random experiment when we are tossing two coins so find the probability of getting at least one head at least one head means what are the events that we needed in our events here e is equal to three events are required means at least one head means head tail in this we are having at least one head tail head in this we are having at least one head 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 at least one head more than one head also required or also accepted so at least one head means these are the three events so number of elements in our sample space is four elements total probability of event is equal to three by four that is equal to 0.75 means 75 percent chance is there in order to obtain any one of these possibilities in our event now coming to the next example, roll an unbiased dice. So when we, when, we, when we roll a dice, what are the possible outcomes you are going to get? 
in our last class we showed the dice what are the possible outcomes that you are going to get when we roll a dice you may get one two three four five six so total number of number of e elements in our sample space is equal to six these are all the possible outcomes that we are going to get when we roll a dice out of these possibilities what they are going to ask probability of getting one or two when we roll a dice it may show up one when we roll a dice it may show up two it may show up three it may show up four it may show up five it may show up six so what are the chances that you are going to have your output as one or two so n of event number of elements in our event is two that is one comma two probability is identified using probability of e is equal to number of elements in event divided by number of elements in sample space that is equal to 2 by 6 that is equal to 1 by 3 this is what the probability chances for our event 1 or 2 this is how we find the probability value and coming to the next example when we roll two dice if you roll two dice what are all the possible outcomes you are going to get one dice may show one one dice may show six one dice may show two one dice may show five any of these possibilities what are the, all the possible outcomes that you are going to get one 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 is showing one other one is showing one one is showing one other one is showing two one is showing one other one is showing a three value like that one four one five one six 2 1 2 2 so on 6 1 6 2 so on 6 6 total 36 events are there 36 possible outcomes are there that is what we call it as our sample space these are all the possible outcomes in our random experiment when we do when we roll two dice so what's our question what they are going to ask n of s is equal to 36 probability of getting some value showed on dice is 10 if you roll two dice they will show some values on the dice the sum of those two values should be 10 that is what the question is means what are all the possible e uh, outcomes that you are going to get in your event n of e is equal to event is equal to three possibilities are there what are those 5 5 one dice is showing 5 other dice is showing 5 5 plus 5 is 10 other one is 4 6 or you are having one more possibility 6 4 total three events are there three elements in our event so how we find the probability value probability of e is equal to number of elements in our event divided by number of elements in our sample space total what's our sample space 36 elements 3 by 36 this is what our probability value now coming to the second question probability of getting some value a perfect square the same question with perfect square when you sum up the both the values on the dice it should be a perfect square what are all the possible elements in our event n of e is equal to total seven events are there seven elements in our events are there that is a one comma three one dice is showing one other dice is showing three sum of these two values is a four which is a perfect square same way three one two two 3 6 means 9 9 is a perfect square 6 3 4 5 4 5 means 9 5 4 is also there these are all the possible elements that we are going to encounter in our event out of 7 7 7 elements are there 7 elements are the probability of event e is equal to number of elements in our event divided by number of elements in our sample space what is our sample space here we are rolling two dice 7 by 36 this is what our probability value is this is how we will find the probability value for the given events in our next class we are going to do some more example complex example slowly we will move into different uh, 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 conditions and conditional probabilities all those things hope you understand the concept of basics of uh, probability how to find the probability uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you